welcome to the Great Run Review of 2012. We take a look back at another thrilling year of athletics on the road, on the track, in the field and on the country. We'll have world and Olympic champions on show amongst the cast list of hundreds of thousands. Sit back and enjoy. It all got underway just into the new year with the Booper Great Edinburgh International Cross Country event featuring the now traditional match between Great Britain, the USA and Europe. A real battle now between the two that fought it out in the European Championships just before Christmas. Michaeli to remind you, the leader, the champion. Lambda Sam, the silver medalist. Lambda Sam, a 10,000 metre man, he's done well on the track, he's got a pedigree, we know he's got a sprint finish, Gray is there, Max closing in as well, along with Tickner and Gera has been left behind just a little bit. Very, very short, 200 metres to go, or thereabouts, just a little less than that, and this is a dominant piece of running in the final stages and a reversal of the result of the European Championships. Ayed Landesam of Spain now coming in, representing Europe. Look at the battle for second place now, and Michele's under threat, not from Gray, but from Mack. And there's the winning, there's the winner, Landesam takes it, and Mack hits ahead of Michele in second place. What about that? The women's 6K race saw a dominant performance from Ireland's Finola Britain. Representing the European team, she finished a full 20 seconds clear of Great Britain's Gemma Steele in second place. I have to say that uh, Kenanisa Bekele is not performing today. I'm not sure what's wrong with him, but on the evidence of last season in Brussels, there he is. He really does not seem to be functioning. He's not right up at the front. Look at the margin he's got to make up. In order to uh, challenge here, he's way off the pace. And Kiplop has gone away. All of a sudden, Billington uh, found an express moving past him at high speed. All of a sudden, there's uh, Kipchoge. He's in second place now. He's come over. Higuero in third. And Johnny Hay, look, this British junior on the right in the black strip. There he is, challenging now, coming up to Millington. And this fella is an absolute flyer when it matters. Uh, Aspel Kiprot, the Olympic champion, is going to take this uh, invitation race quite comfortably in the end. And what about the second place? That's going to be a real battle. And Johnny Hay uh, versus Kipchoge. Is Kipchoge going to take second? Or is Hay? And Higuero's there. Hay takes second. Kipchoge third, I think. Or was it Higuero? We'll check on that in a moment. There's Stevenson. And there's uh, the young man who led for so long, Millington. Wow, what a race that was. I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I'm excited having won here this, today. Um, I was uh, second last year and I came here, I wanted to prove a point. So a spirited second place for British youngster Johnny Hay contributing to the host nation taking the honours in this curtain raiser to the great run season. The Phoenix Park in Dublin is 350 years old and this year it was staging the Great Ireland Run for the 10th time. The field of 11,000 was headed by the triple Olympic champion Kenanisa Bekele of Ethiopia. What will we see from Kenanisa Bekele today? 10 kilometres of running, just to remind you. Huge field, 11,500 in total. Many, of course, running for charities, many club runners and many of those who are running for the very first time and achieving their very first 10 kilometer time. The women with six kilometers to go, four kilometers gone, and it's down to four. And those we expected to be there. Now, it's interesting from the point of view of Charlotte Perdue. She won it last year. Actually, Steele was second last year, so it's quite an interesting battle, this one, between the two. But look at this now. It's single file. They're all allowing the pace to be set, and I can tell you why they are, because this is quick. Bekele leads, Lemdesem in second, Murci in third, and I think that is uh, Jose Manuel Martinez of Spain in fourth. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a competitive race this is proving to be, with uh, Christelle Dornay of France just being dropped. The 37-year-old marathon woman is being dropped now, and it's down to two British athletes. Bekele now has Lambda Sam alongside him. Now, Lambda Sam will really look to stay as long as he can. Mucci looks as though he's dropping off the back of this uh, group at the moment. Helen Clitheroe has been dropped 
in that uh, fourth, she's in fourth place, she's been dropped by these two women, that's for sure, and they are away, so Dornay has gone, and so has Helen Clitheroe, and it's down to two, two kilometres to go, and Purdue really puts the hammer down. Look at this, bekele has got away, Much is now in second place, Lambda Sam, who thought better of going with the great man. The race on now between these two. Who has the sprint finish? We've seen Steele uh, finish strongly, we've also seen uh, Perdue finish strongly, and I just wonder, but look, a lone athlete now. Oh, I say, look at the gap that uh, Kenanisa Bekele has opened up. A little glance over the shoulder, and that just confirms that uh, he is back. He's pleased with this, you can see he's smiling. And Steele grimaces as he really works towards the finish. And a young woman who really had all to prove three years ago is beginning to prove it now. And Gemma Steele wins this great Ireland run 2012 from Charlotte Perdue. Wonderful run by Gemma Steele. Charlotte Perdue in second place. Kennedy Zibikele of Ethiopia. A big smile on the face, and that is world class in every sense. Kennedy Zibikele of Ethiopia is the great Ireland run champion for 2012 in the most emphatic way. It's not easy because, you know, uh, nobody in front of me uh, because there is no pace. You know, I'm alone in front. Uh, to stay in front, you know, a long time, it was not so easy. Total dominance from the Ethiopian as he laid down a major marker ahead of London 2012 and good to see two of Britain's leading women athletes battling it out to the line. First run in 2003, the Booper Great Manchester run has created plenty of stories down the years and returning this year looking to make it five wins from five was the legendary Haile Gabri Selassie. 40,000 uh, are preparing for their mission and Haile Gabri Selassie of course out to attempt his fifth win in this uh, race. Those elite men head up that field. This is a fantastically talented pack, everybody running with their own agenda. Regafini leading Masai, you can see they're in the all black, back in about sixth place at the moment with Yamauchi in second place to the top left there of that group. In fact, Perdue it is on the shoulder of Ejafini. She's a wonderfully talented young athlete, Perdue, and not scared to front run either. I love to see her go out with real guts and push on the pace in her races. This is a strong Ethiopian trio, Stuart, across the front. Kabeda, well, remember, he went from sixth to, to third in the last five kilometres in the Olympic uh, marathon in 2008. He knows his way around the marathon courses, but Haile is so, so proficient in every way. He has such physiology, he really does. And now Masai just eases into the front, begins to lengthen her stride, and almost immediately we could see the Yamauchi, Mara Yamauchi, the Briton, are beginning to struggle and peeling off the back of that group. There she is, top left of picture, Yamauchi, as Masai, with those long, gangly legs, just begins to bounce along. Five kilometres there, it's a tactic I guess she must have had prepared in her own mind, at halfway, begin to make an effort. Oh, look at this, it's a breaker. It's a break-up, and Haile Gabri Selassie is away. Absiro, Absiro, I should say, has linked on to him. Despite clocking 13-12, he doesn't regard himself as a good track runner, that's for sure. At eight kilometres, 2,000 metres to go then for Lynette Masai. She's proved herself in the past on the country and on the track and on the roads, of course. Ejafini looks to be holding on quite well into uh, second place there. Let's catch up with uh, Haile Gabri Selassie and uh, you can see now that he has opened up a gap and it's a good gap too, it looks as though he's on schedule for another sub uh, 28 minute run, he's been around some time, I was just looking at his record, he's been under uh, 28 minutes, what, four times so far and this could well be the fifth in his career which uh, in 1994 was the first time he did it and that was uh, uh, 27.34 in April 1994 and since then he's uh, obviously become one of the greats and uh, he, he will always be remembered as one of the greats. 
Lynette Masai has run deceptively fast. I didn't think she was going to hit quick times, but 15.47 at halfway. It's going to be pretty quick, this. A Kenyan athlete has only won this race once before. Well, it's back in Kenyan hands now in Manchester. Vivian Chariot three years ago, now Lynette Masai. Well, Haile Gabriel Selassie, you've controlled this race. You've uh, moved ahead of the field, uh, a field which includes other marathon men of Kabeda, Abshiro, Macau, and, of course, uh, Stephen Kipritich. But this fella is class in every sense. He has another sub-28 sub minute time to his credit. Not going to be as uh, quick as Kogo, not going to be as quick as his best, but nevertheless, it is another very fine performance. And he really comes through as if he could run another half marathon on top of this, and, and quite frankly, he could. Yeah, it's wonderful today. I, I'm so happy. Well, actually, I didn't expect, you know, just to run that fast because of... Uh, I had a, a little bit doubt, you know, yesterday because of the weather. But the weather today, as you see, you know, fantastic and the atmosphere as well. Oh, great, great day. The great man returns to capture yet another great run title in what was a performance of total domination. And equally impressive was Kenya's Lynette Masai, underlining again the strength of African distance running.